Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and... Whoa, Lamb Chops is posting a video, that, that's weird. But yeah, it's been like, what, three to four months since I posted on this channel, and... Uh, it's, been, it's been a while, you know? It's, I've taken a really long break from NHL, I just haven't played at all. I haven't even turned on the Xbox. And uh, I've really just been focusing on school, and um, also on other games that have been taking up my time, and I just... Haven't had the motivation to, you know, pop in NHL, turning on the Xbox, and, you know, recording a video. Uh, just haven't had that motivation. But it's been four, three, four months now. I, I hope that I can continue to post out videos, but I'm not going to promise anything. However, I do want to post some videos out in the future. I kind of felt like I need to post this video out first because, uh, you know, I, I should explain myself before, like, continuing Hut Roulette or Pack Squads. I feel like people would be like, whoa. Like, if they see a hot roulette all of a sudden, like, they, they would probably want an explanation of, like, why I haven't, like, posted in, like, four months. So, this video is just there to get it out of the way, and hopefully I can just start posting again. But, yeah, we have four packs to open up, and they are some pretty big packs, and we're going to see if we can pull some of the team of the years. I, I should probably show you the team of the year before we uh, open up those packs, but those are the... Um, 40 player packs, uh, 4 of those, so that should add up to about 160 players worth. And we're going to see if we can pull one of these uh, Team of the Year cards. And yeah, some pretty disgusting stuff. Patrick Line 99. Uh, I, I've been following the Team of the Year, but I'm pretty surprised Patrick Line got 99 and not Austin Matthews. I mean, Austin Matthews is the better player, right? Uh, okay, probably not, but I don't know. And they're, they're pretty even. Uh, David Pasternak, you know, Jack Eichel. William Nylander, he's been on fire lately. Two Maple Leaf guys, cannot complain about that, being a Leafs fan. But, yeah, we're going to see if we can pull some of these Team of the Year cards. Uh, who is that? Brady S Skedgy. Uh, I, I don't know how to say his name. Sky? I'm going to guess that the J is silent. Those uh, New York Rangers fans can let me know. But, yeah, some pretty nice cards in there. So, uh, we have a lot of chances of pulling in the Team of the Year. I would prefer to pull one of those Toronto Maple Leaf guys. And we're going to see if we can, like, maybe build a team around that. Maybe I'll do, like, a testing of those players or uh, I'll give them a wave to you guys because I recently uh, rejoined the EA Sports program. Uh, so I should have some points uh, if I want to make videos or if I want to do my pack squads or hunt roulette. Uh, EA is kind of funding that now so I can uh, do those videos without any problems. So uh, you can see right now I only have 25 coins and I transferred all those coins to the hunt roulette. And I will talk about some new rules for Hut Roulette that uh, I want to implement so it makes it more exciting and we can play with better players so we're not just, you know, setting the buy now maximum too high. But anywho, for those people that don't watch Hut Roulette and just want to watch this pack opening, let's get these packs opened up. We got 39 gold rare players here. And yeah, we're just going to one take this and see how it goes. So, alright, first pack. Let's see what we get here. I'm going to start with a Brandon Peary. 80, oh, 88 overall Mark Stone. I don't even know the values of these players anymore. Uh, but I've heard from like X-Tech, like 87, 88 players aren't worth anything anymore. Like they're pretty much quick sell. So I'm guessing we're looking for something 89 or up or team of the year card. So Chris Tanev, Andrew Ladd. Islanders have been on fire. I've been watching a lot of hockey for sure. Toronto Maple Leafs. You know, once the Leafs are playing well, like, the games are actually, like, watchable now. They're really exciting. Uh, Thomas Tatar, uh, Yori Lettera, Jelena, Grease, Grice, sorry, Versteeg, Brian Elliott. Are we going to get anything? Jake Gardner, all right, we got a Leaf there. Uh, I'm not sure if he's worth anything, but we'll keep going, see if we can pull a Team of the Year card. Probably not in the first pack. I think it's going to be, like, in the second or third pack, probably. Dirty Ribeiro. Anton Vermet, the, the referee slasher. Anders Lee, Adam Larson, Lance Boma, and Andre Markov. So, I really don't know what to do with all these players. I guess I'll send them to the collection for now, and then I will deal with them later. But let's keep going here. We got three more packs. Uh, let's just open up the first one. I don't think it really matters. But yeah, I'm opening up these packs like really late at night. So, uh, we'll see if our luck is any better now that it's, you know... Maybe less people are on. Maybe the odds are better. Cody Franzen. He was a past Toronto Maple Leaf. Brendan Peary again. Armanissima. Brayden Shen. All right. Let's 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 go faster here. Brendan Gallagher. Max Domi. Um, isn't Max Domi injured right now? Like, 
Um, there's a lot of new players as well that I haven't seen. Dion Fagoof, Martin Hansel, Johnny Boychuk, Shane Doan. Uh, I recently saw that uh, they were in warm-up. Shane Doan smashed into, I think it was uh, Chicharin. And like, that, that looked like a dirty hit in the warm-up. Uh, at least some people that watch Arizona games probably know what happened. But uh, Matthew Kachuk. Calgary's on fire right now. Those guys are pretty exciting to watch. But yeah, nothing in the second pack. So uh, we're already halfway in and we haven't pulled anything like solid. I mean, Jay Gardner, he's, he's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, out of these Series 2 Ultimate Packs, I, I've been saving these since like last week, last team of the year when Austin Matthews was out. But uh, I kind of just... I, I I was really afraid of making this first video. I don't know why. Oh, John Tavares, baby. He's got to be worth something, right? He can't be worth quick sell. 91. Uh, too bad he wasn't. He's probably going to be in the offensive team of the year. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Mika's been a Jad. Uh, Cam Fowler. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see how NHL is like now. Like I kind of want to play some games in Division One and try it out. Uh, Sebastian Aho, Carolina has actually been playing a lot better recently. If you guys are subscribed to um, the Hockey Guy, I'm not sure how many of you guys watch him, but uh, he does some pretty good in-depth analysis of teams, and they're talking. He talks about how Carolina is like pretty much on fire right now with their team. Uh, but yeah, keep going here. Cody Franzen again. I thought I sent him to my collection. Maybe they go to my item inbox. Maybe um, Nick Holden, Steve Mason. But yeah, John Tavares, I, I think that's a pretty good first pull, although I would like a team of the year. Uh, but yeah, 91 overall, cannot complain too much about him. Let's take a look at his stats. One, once again, 89 skating, 93 shot, 94 hands. Uh, I know there are some pretty good Season 2 cards out there, like Vladimir Tarasenko, there's Crosby, Ovechkin. Those guys are like 93, 94 overall, but they're only worth like 140 to 150k from what I've seen from like... Twitch streamers opening up like team of the year packs this past week so I kind of know the values of expensive players but other than that it's kind of out in the air but uh, let's keep going here Jonathan Bernier Roberto Luongo 89 overall uh, Florida's I think they're pretty close to clinching that playoffs or not clinching the playoff spot but they're on the Leafs tail for sure for getting that playoff spot on Boston's tail as well and uh, Nick Bukestad Andrew Ladd uh, I, I want to see like a good 90 plus player here. Steve Mason again, Ryan Miller, Antti Ranta, Brendan Smith. Uh, maybe he's at the back. Aaron Ekblad, that's not bad. He's recently injured. Uh, Zemgis Gergensen's Mark Mathaw with a slashed finger. I mean, like, I've been watching a lot of NHL. That's, that's probably why, like, I know so much about this. I'm subscribed to the Sportsnet Canada YouTube channel and I get all my updates there. Uh, but yeah, if I don't pull anything, like, other than that, John Tavares, I might open up another pack. Marion Gabrick, he's not bad. He's a quickster, but yeah, nothing too special other than Roberto Luongo in this pack. Uh, I'll try to open up a couple more of those uh, 150k packs that are out right now. Okay, so we're in the store now, and you might notice that the audio or maybe the video looks a little bit different. And for some reason, in my last clip that I just recorded, uh, the audio started getting very choppy and started to desync from the video, so... I had to redo it again. I already opened up two packs already, or I opened up three, and I didn't get anything good anyway, so uh, we're going to try again, and we're going to see if we can uh, pull something good here. Uh, but in my last recording, I opened up one epic pack. Uh, this uh, includes 15 gold rare players and eight prospects of a team of the year collectible, and we're going to also be opening up two of the team of the year jumbo packs, and that includes nine gold rare players and three prospects of a team of the year collectible. Um, so we're going to see which one is better because they're both the same price if I open up two of these Team of the Year Jumbo Packs. So uh, we'll open up the Jumbo Packs first and uh, we'll see what we get. I pulled a Team of the Year Collectible in the Team of the Year Epic Pack, the big one, the 150,000 one. So we'll see if this pack brings us any luck because the last couple that I opened up weren't good at all. But uh, Tomas Hurdle... Uh, Mike Green, we got Coach Samuels, Cal Turris, that's not a bad player. Uh, Eric Fair, now a Leaf, played his first Leaf game and then uh, broke his hand on uh, one of the penalty kills, which is pretty unfortunate. Dion Fagoof again, Fagoof, get out of here. Jonathan Bernier, and we also have Riley Sheehan, but 
Doesn't seem like we're going to get anything too good. Elias Lindholm, yeah, nothing too special, but uh, we're going to send all those to the collection. And uh, we're going to see save the Team of the Year Epic Pack for last, and we'll open up the Team of the Year Jumbo Pack uh, first. So let's get this opened up, see if we get lucky, but yeah, we're burning through points right now. I'll probably have to ask EA for some more uh, in the next couple weeks or so, but uh, let's see if we get anything good here. Justin Williams, uh, Patrick Berglund, uh, Logan Couture, all right, an 88 overall. Uh, San Jose, I think they're like on a four-game losing streak, right, or a five-game losing streak. Uh, they've been uh, kind of falling down from the standings ever since they've uh, been so high in the standings, right? And Jonathan Juin, Matthew Kachuk. What else do we have here? Jakob Silverberg, UC Jokinen, uh, Eddie Lack, Andre Palat, um, Yori Laterra. But yeah, nothing too special in this pack as well. So uh, we'll end it off with this Team of the Year Epic pack. It's got to save us. Hopefully we can pull, you know, a Mitch Marner or a William Nylander right now. Let's go. Let's get this pack opened up. And we're down to 6,000 points, which... I guess it's fine. The first episode of Pack Swats won't be taking up too many points anyways. But uh, yeah, let's get this pack opened up. Josh Bailey, let's go a little bit faster here. Patrick Maroon, uh, for those Edmonton Oilers fans, you guys must be pretty happy about that. He uh, has like 25 or 26 goals. I, I, I don't exactly know his goal total, but like ever since he's been on Connor McDavid's line, like he's been uh, lighting it up in the NHL. But yeah, I think I would be lighting up the NHL as well if I was playing with uh, Connor McDavid. But yeah, probably not. Jack Johnson, Rene Bork. Uh, any other cards? Duclair, James Neal, an 88 overall. Uh, but yeah, Marcus Johansson, what else? Come on, show us one of those team of the years. Ricard Raquel, TJ Brody, some 87s. But, oh man, we got a couple more cards. Oh, we got a collectible. All right, uh, we got wins with the Montreal Canadiens, Brandon Prust, and... I uh, carry price hugging it out. I, I don't know the like what the collectibles mean at all, but maybe you need like five or six to get a team of the year. I, I, I don't even know. I haven't been following NHL too much in terms of the collect collections, but yeah, that's going to end off this pack and this pack opening as well, but at least we got a collectible. Maybe it's worth like 20, 30,000, which is probably worth more than the t Tavares we pulled earlier. I don't necessarily know, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I kind of just want to post this video out there first before I started posting out some videos, probably in the next couple weeks or so. I don't want to promise anything because, like, people are going to be like, oh, in the comments, see you later, Lamb Chops, for the next, like, two months or so. But I, I don't want to promise anything. I want to try to start, like, posting out videos. And I, I just hope I can get things rolling again now that I have points from EA and I have some coins on my other account, my Hut Roulette account. We'll see what happens, but... uh yeah, that's about it. Let me know in the comment box below like what you guys have pulled. If you guys have even opened up packs, uh, what team of the years you have pulled so far. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.